My name is Dr. Joseph Emunua. Today we are focusing on the meaning of research. Since the creation of the world, the human mind has been deep learning to make sense of the world. In this context, Humanity has been searching for new knowledge towards understanding itself and the world that houses it. In addition, humanity has been attempting to understand its relation to the world as well as God's relation to the world and the universe at large. However, in order to know the unknown knowable things in the world and the universe at large, humanity that constantly seeks to be the knower of the said unknown knowable things requires a special method of knowing. At this point, it is important to note that research is a said special method through which humanity can understand the said and known knowable things in the world and the universe as a whole towards enhancing its quality of life. Typically, research denotes a systematic search for new knowledge in a particular area of knowledge or life. In that vein, research can be seen as an act of scientific investigation that seeks to create the same new knowledge. Therefore, research is a methodical undertaking that in a step-up manner moves towards the creation of new knowledge in a particular field of knowledge. For example, Max F. Perutz, the British biochemist who won the 1962 Nobel Prize for Chemistry, carried out research on protein structures which created new knowledge that increased the world's understanding of how hemoglobin carries oxygen to the tissues of the human body. In another example, Bernardo Arbato Hulsi, an Argentine physiologist, researched the pituitary glands lol and created new knowledge that made a significant breakthrough in the understanding and the treatment of diabetes. Because of this study, Bernardo won the 1947 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine, becoming the first South American Nobel laureate. Accordingly, research is an ingenious and a systematic investigation of a given phenomenon, which is geared towards an establishment of facts and reaching new conclusions about the said phenomenon. In all, research is about finding out the targeted truth regarding a particular phenomenon by means of a non investigation. In other words, research is a methodical search for new knowledge it is an ordinary discovery of hidden truths, which is characterized by a methodical progressive movement from the known to the unknown. To put it simply, the term research denotes a systematic search of information or the relevant data about the matter being studied a methodical analysis of the government information or the correct data 
and the interpretation of the analyzed information in order to unearth the anticipated new knowledge about the said matter towards, among other things, in increasing the stock of knowledge in the concerned field of study. Therefore, research can be seen as a person's perpetual voyage of discovery. In short, research is one step-by-step -step inventive journey towards the creation of new knowledge and therein making their known known. Overall, research is a process that involves progressive steps used to correct the relevant data, analyze the corrected data, and interpret the analyzed data towards creating new original knowledge about a particular matter. Along these lines, research is mainly characterized by a series of step-by-step -step processes that usually lead to the targeted end. In a nutshell, the aforesaid step-by-step -step processes consist of posing a research question, correcting the relevant data in order to answer the said research question, and presenting the answer to the said question through a reflective analysis and interpretation of the said data. Note that the said presentation of the realized answers to the research question or questions culminates in the testing of the research hypothesis, the meeting of the research objectives, and the solving of the research problem. In sum, research is a step-up process which is mainly characterized by the correction of the required data, the analysis of the gathered data, and the interpretation of the analyzed data towards answering the research questions and the subsequent attempt to solve the research problem. Strictly speaking, therefore, research can be defined as an academic inquiry which is geared towards a deliberate correction, analysis, and interpretation of a particular data to create a purposeful new knowledge. For example, research can bring about the creation of new theories all new rules in the light of the discovered new knowledge. Besides, research can cause the revision of the existing theories or rules in the light of the unearthed new knowledge. To take another example, research can give rise to a practical application of the newly created or devised theories or rules. Put simply, therefore, to carry out a given research means to carry out a diligent inquiry of a particular phenomenon. This means to conduct an in-depth investigation of a given phenomenon. Research, therefore, involves a detailed examination of a given phenomenon, which is done in a sequential manner in the direction of creating new knowledge regarding the said phenomenon. Also, research may involve a studious analysis of existing conclusions or theories pertaining to a given phenomenon. Herein, the researcher focuses on the available previously discovered facts about the said phenomenon. Accordingly, in this context, research is a continued search. It is research. A continued search for new knowledge 
and understanding of the world allowed us towards an enhancement of the quality of human life. In this case, therefore, research means searching again or once more for the targeted new knowledge. Overall, research should be seen as another process of arriving at the effective answers to the research questions via a systematic correction, analysis, and interpretation of the required data. In this case, the researcher methodically corrects the valid reliable data, analyzes the gathered data, and interprets the analyzed data in order to answer the set research questions and therein test the research hypothesis, meet the research objectives, and solve the research problem. Finally, the researcher emerges with a given new knowledge in a certain realm of knowledge. In the end, thus, the involved researcher increases the stock of knowledge in his or her preferred area of study. <clears throat> this makes his or her a touristic contribution to the ongoing worldwide efforts to improve human life quality through research. All in all, humanity lives in a universe that never ceases to amaze it. Typically, research entails seeing what almost everyone has seen, but thinking what nobody else has thought towards the creation of new knowledge in a particular field of knowledge. In that vein, humanity is characteristically inquisitive. Human beings constantly seek to ask, re-ask, and answer the difficult what's, how's, and the why's questions that relate to themselves, God, and the Mother Nature. In this context, apart from creating the discipline of philosophy, the inquisitiveness of humanity generates the discipline of research, which is geared towards a purposeful creation of new knowledge. By the way, it is worth knowing that in their continuous endeavors to create new knowledge, almost always the researchers primarily rely on empiricism, rationalism, or both philosophical ways of knowing. Overall, the inquisitiveness of humanity is an imperative matter of its knowledge. As a result, research is a method that humanity uses for obtaining the knowledge of whatever they are known. In a word, generally speaking, Research is an innovative contribution to the existing stock of knowledge in a given field of knowledge. Thank you for reasoning.